Welcome to The Buzz with Tony Salzo. I'm lucky to have Daryl Habish here, right? <laughs> Habish. 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 It's a tough to one. Like 10 seconds and still couldn't get it right. C captivative indoor advertising. Yes. Captivating, actually. One of the coolest value propositions we probably have in the Rainmakers Association. Tell it is, what do you do? We captivate people. Any place that in advertising that people will stand in line to read your ad, that's where you want to be. Okay. We put our frames and advertising in sports bars, health clubs, uh, sports venues, Pepsi Coliseum, uh, any place that, that brings people in in high volumes uh, in all of the restrooms. There you go. So you, that's really the captivating piece. Isn't Absolutely. It? That's where you got them for what? You know, 30 seconds to how long is it? Well, for me, it's probably a little, <laughs> once you hit my age, yeah. uh, a little closer to two minutes, uh -huh. three minutes. Sure. Um, and, and literally, it's advertising and marketing that is up close and personal. There's no other place that you can do that. Now, what type of customers buy that kind of advertising? I mean, is it is it a certain target? Is it a certain vertical? You know, the nice thing about that is it's just about any type of business, business to business. Uh, this is one of the very few mediums where you can be gender specific. In fact, it's the only medium where you can be gender specific. Sure. Unless you're where you shouldn't be after a few too many. Yeah. Uh, gender specific, also age. We can put you into the younger bars. We okay. can put you into the sports bars. So you can target by the location of the ad. Absolutely. Based on the demographic of the people who are attending. Absolutely. Okay. It's one of the very few that you can do that in. So you really have, to your business, you've got two different uh, markets you're selling. you got locations, and then you got advertisers. Yep. Is that fair? Yep. What do you need more of now? And how does, how, you know, you got 1,100 members here that are looking to help you. How do, what, what could they do to help you grow your business? Well, it's, we're, we're always looking to expand the network, as we call it. Uh, okay. Right now, we're at 400-plus locations around Indianapolis, and in fact, throughout the state of Indiana. We also okay. have Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky within the umbrella of Captivating Indoor. Okay. So we're always looking for high-volume, high-quality restaurants, okay. sports bars, and so forth. Uh, we're also looking, of course, for advertisers. We do very, very well with business to business. Now, okay. how can that be? Well, of course, business lunches. Okay. People who are taking their families out. So business to business advertising works very well. Uh, of course, retail. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, when people look at their budgets and, and how do you incorporate this type of advertising where you're up close and personal, people actually have the time to read your ad, and of course use a little humor with it because we are in the restrooms. Yeah. Um, One of the things that we did with a client back in the past that mm -hmm. actually really was a unusual way to leverage your, your medium is um, they were selling uh, to doctor's offices and hospitals uh, a certain software platform. Mm -hmm. And what we did is went into your network and plucked and picked all the restaurants that were close to the healthcare facilities in that mm -hmm. area. And mm -hmm. we actually had some, you know, double digits returns on that mm -hmm. investment. But it's one of the things about your medium, it is really cost effective to touch people and to grow that, you know, to put, be those initial uh, pieces of those initial touches that develop a relationship. Right. Is that fair? I think it's very fair to say, especially when studies uh, by Rice University and Arizona State University have shown that the recall rate, the retention rate of reading your ad, when I'm when it's right there and I'm reading it, I can recall, I think it was at 90, it was like 97%. Unheard of. It's unbelievable. And then you put that into the cost per thousand from a marketing standpoint, you know, when the marketing director, the ad agency and so forth looks at this and how does it all fit into the general scheme of things. Yeah. Television, you could be at $40, $50 yeah. easily at a cost per thousand. Yeah. I bring it down to $4. So why isn't everybody doing it, Daryl? I mean, what, what's the, what, are, what are your challenges when you get up every morning? Well, one is having the ability to touch enough people. And, and we use that term sparingly in the, sure. in the restroom business. But yeah, yeah. Ha ha having enough people out there really that understand the medium and what emerging media is all about. Sure. It's the second largest, second fastest growing advertising medium right behind the internet. Well, you know, it's funny. I think one of your challenges is just educating people how to leverage what you do. Exactly. Now, you know, we got to change gears here a little bit because mm -hmm. I want people to, I want, you know, we've, again, we've got 1,100 members here we're talking mm -hmm. to. What is the, what are the type of businesses you think could refer you an annuity stream of business? Now, I'm not talking buy. I'm talking refer. I, I think any 
companies that work with other companies, any companies that want to see other companies grow. Okay. And it's not just marketing directors, ad agencies. It's the people, uh, either their own companies or others, that see the need to maintain a presence. And that doesn't necessarily have to be retail. As you know, that's what marketing is all about. Mm -hmm. Why does Coca-Cola market all that? We're not going to forget who Coke is. Yeah. Uh, they market all the time because when they don't, they lose market you gotta share. you got to stay in front of them. You stay out there all the time mm -hmm. at a steady basis. That's yeah. what we do best. In yeah. some cases, we can do it 24-7. I always talk to my clients about universe and frequency. And mm -hmm. the universe is how many people you've told your value proposition mm -hmm. to. And the frequency is how often you tell them that story. And I think one of the things that's really powerful about your medium, mm -hmm. it's complete frequency. I mean, if you get in somebody's local watering hole mm -hmm. or their local uh, lunch spot, then sure. you're going to be in front of them all the time. Absolutely. And if they're on target, it's really a powerful cost-effective medium. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, just kind of recap. Your, your, the referral partners you really look for, though, are really those marketing agencies that are they're looking for out-of-box yes. ways to touch yep. people. Those uh, strategic advisors, whether they're, you know, uh, whether Dan Atkins was just in here today mm -hmm. doing his, he'd be a great uh, type of Lorraine Ball, those type of people who are running mm -hmm. those guerrilla marketing advisory type roles, mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're telling people how to spend their dollars when it comes to growing their business. Mm -hmm. They're a great referral source for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you guys are doing some other things in emerging media, and, and is that part of your role is to educate people on what emerging media is? It is. Uh, in fact, captivating indoor advertising is moving out of just the restroom realm. Mm -hmm. We're moving into how do you interact with people, not just in, from the ad, the ad itself. Uh, today, you can now text message mm -hmm. directly from that board that ad in the restroom and then receive that coupon back, receive that information back. It's all about data capture. Sure. You know, and who's out there? It's not just people my age. It's the ones that are so difficult to reach, that 21-year-old, 35-year-old that doesn't watch I, television. I was reading some the other day, so mm -hmm. the average 17-year-old sends 6,000 text messages yes. a month. I have them in my house, I know. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> I do. pay for it every month. Well, Daryl's a great guy to get a hold of if you're, making, if you're advising your clients on, on strategy and marketing and how to grow their business. Really get educated on emerging markets, emerging media, I'm sorry, and, uh, and do a one-on-one with them. You've been buzzed. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you, Tony. All right, appreciate it.